Hi, it's Peter again. Uh, I just wanted to create a quick video for those people who are having issues with either finding their contacts or being able to uh, send a text message or call or email any of their contacts. Um, one of the things that Gmail does that you may, me, may not be aware of is that every time you send or receive an email to a contact that is not in your contacts database, Gmail will create a contact record for that with the email address, but it will kind of put it hidden in your database. And Eva can see those unless you tell Eva not to see those. So um, the, big, the best way to check is just do the following. Yes, Peter. Display my contacts. I have listed the contacts you currently have defined. Okay, so if you look through your contacts and you see a bunch in there that you don't know who they are or whatever, then you need to tell Eva to basically use the correct system group. So this is how you do that. Yes, Peter. Display my available groups. The groups are displayed. Tap on the one you want to be the default. Only contacts in this group will be used. Clear the default by tapping on it if you want to use all your contacts. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done it on my, my system group, my con contacts, which is the default group for your phone. Um, I've actually selected it as default. And you'll see if I go and change that, and then I say display my contacts again. Yes, Peter. Display my contacts. I have listed the contacts you currently have defined. You'll see now I have a whole bunch of junky ones in there and all sorts of different things that I didn't have before that, you know, people that I've emailed with and just a whole bunch of junk really that you just don't really want to have um, either to be looking at all the time. It just slows things down and just creates confusion when you're saying to call somebody by their first name or whatever. So let's go back and change that back to the default system group. Yes, Peter. Display my available groups. The groups are displayed. Tap on the one you want to be the default. Only contacts. Okay, so now I've selected that back as, as the default, so I'm back where I was. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, if you're trying to text somebody or you're trying to call them, you need to have at least one number um, assigned to their contact record and in the case of if you're trying to text them you need to have a number that is tagged as mobile so let me see if I can see what contacts I have named John yes Peter display John please choose the John you would like to work with okay so I have my test account here called John Smith so I'll tap on him Details for John Smith are as follows. Name, John Smith. Mobile. Just interrupt Eva there. So you can see I have John's record there, and all I have for John in terms of details is a mobile number and an email number or email address. So if you display one of your contacts and you don't see a number that's tagged as mobile, then you're not going to be able to text to that person. So if that's the case, then what you want to do is go out to your contacts and go and adjust the number. So let me show you how to do that. You see there's John's record. And what I would do is choose to edit that. And if you look here, it's tagged as mobile. But if you tap on that, you can go and change it. So depending on how you've set up your contacts you might have uh, his number as work or home or something else but you really need to get your contacts in order and have people's mobile numbers tagged as mobile because then either if you have multiple numbers will know which one um, to use to text to because obviously you don't want to be sending text messages to somebody's home number because that's just not going to work at all okay so now that you've sorted that out we can come back to Eva yes Peter All right, so now that we've sorted that out, we can now say we want to text John and 
that will be able to uh, work. So let's try that. Yes, Peter. Text John. Please choose the John you would like me to send a message to. Please give me the name of the next recipient or say done. Done. New message to John Smith. What is the first sentence of the message you would like to send? Cancel. I have cancelled this text okay, message. Okay, so I didn't really want to send that message, so I just cancelled that. And uh, you noticed that uh, Eva was asking me for extra recipients, and I could have just said more names and added more names to that, but I could say done or finished or okay, and uh, she'll skip that part and start asking me for the message. So this is how you set up um, your contacts, so either seeing the right contacts and also set up your contacts themselves so they have a mobile number so Eva can text to them and it goes the same for calling you need to have a phone number against your contact for Eva to be able to find it and likewise if you want to email somebody you have to have an email address for them before Eva will recognize that person and normally what will happen is you say if you say send an email to John and you don't have an email address uh, Eva will tell you I'm sorry I don't have an email address for that contact so I can't add them to the list and it's, it's the same for if you're uh, creating a new event and you're adding attendees for that event. They all need to have an email address assigned to them because if they don't have one, um, Google can't send them an invitation to the, um, the event. So if you're trying to add people to, a, to an event where they don't have an email address, probably the best thing to do is just put their name in the description as you're creating it. Alright, hope everybody um, enjoyed that little short video and hopefully it's helpful. Thanks.